Sunday afternoon out in HQ again. Uh, I am hoping that you'll be able to see me all right. Uh, we had to resort to using uh, the phone as the camera today simply because the light we do need to use uh, with the big camera is not charged so rather than hang around and wait for it to charge up and be ready uh, i just said uh, throw something short together because uh, I think the Sunday afternoon video from the shed is becoming a bit of a tradition at this stage and uh, it's certainly one that's working well for us because I was only remarking to Susie before we started filming uh, how much both our YouTube channel and Instagram page have taken off in recent weeks that is all tribute to you guys for interacting with us and um, your interest in the site and what we're doing and um, that is without a shadow without the greatest uh, encouragement that I could have and we could have uh, by way of uh, keeping going and trying new stuff and branching our operations out and uh, all that kind of stuff. So for today, uh, I'd be honest with you, I have no whole pile of energy for the simple reason that, and before I say this, I am not doing it to uh, blow me on trumpet and as only as uh, by way of statement of fact, uh, I have no whole pile of energy because I put a lot of work in during the week into putting the show together, which I hope some of you have seen at this stage. If you haven't seen it, uh, it was the last uh, previous posted video on this uh, YouTube channel. Uh, Drive Through Sports Weekly Episode Two. Uh, there's a full two hours of various different types of content covering a multitude of uh, topics there. So please go and check it out if you can. I wouldn't expect anyone to sit through the full two hours of it in one go, but there's a bit of everything there. There's GA, there's horse racing, there's rugby, there's soccer, there's cycling. Uh, so there's a good uh, variety of stuff. Uh, just while I think of it, one thing I forgot to mention yesterday was uh, the sight of a young 16-year-old um, knocking Ronnie O'Sullivan out in the first round of the European Masters in the Stoker. Now, at this point in time, and bear in mind that I am out in the shed, I can't even think of the young man's name, but uh, I did share a clip of it on the Boiling Talk Sport Facebook page on Friday. So if you pop over and have a look at that, you will see that. Which reminds me on the subject of the uh, Facebook page, we are only uh, nine likes short of 1100. So if you are popping over to have a look around there, please hit the like button. Every little bit of growth we can bring to the operation uh, opens up uh, more avenues to what we can do. And uh, in other words, leaves that we can bring better uh, content to yourselves. Uh, last bit of sales pitching for now. Also, if you're on the site, um, please don't forget to uh, 
download my new book, uh, Rolling Down Memory Lane, which is available to download as an ebook for uh, the princely cost of five euro. Uh, you can pay via PayPal or credit card, and I would hope to have um, a hard copy, as in an actual uh, material book form of it out uh, sooner rather than later. It will take a while, but the wheels are in motion, and we'll keep you posted uh, on that one. But uh, just when we are in the shed, I'm going to do a bit of shed type work. Um, we're going to just fill up a few more of the seedling trays that I started last week. Uh, I was out earlier this morning, if any of you seen on Instagram, I was out spraying the crops and seeing what was what. Uh, the cabbage is coming along very nicely. Uh, slug pellets have had a fairly decent effect, but we may suffer some losses along the way with the cabbage. But look, that's the same with growing any crop. Uh, so for now, I'm going to fill up more of these little seedling pots. The soup spoon is going to get another run out uh, and then I will see what the lady of the operation has in terms of seed available for sowing but for now I will leave you be and track on and do a bit and I will check back in shortly.